We can we can reduce so much air that that is associated with human studies. So think about this. I can feed the pigs the same thing every day for as long as I want. You know, as long as they will, as long as they are able to thrive on it. In fact, one of the studies that we did where we formulated uh, using the and Haynes, uh, what is it, National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, what Americans eat. So the American diet, we made an American diet uh, feed for our pigs, and we had to terminate the project early because our attending veterinarian said it was inhumane for our test subjects because they did not thrive on it. They got brittle bones, they stopped growing, they got fat, their hair fell out, they got pimples. <laughs> So it was a mess. And that happened in three months. And these were, oh, probably 60 day old pigs when they started on it. So in that critical growth period, if you fed what the, the mean American diet, you know, the median right in the middle, um, they can't grow on it. They stopped depositing muscle. They kept gaining weight as fat. So they got extra body fat and they were just chock full of marbling, which is a condition seen in metabolic syndrome. So when they take CT scans of people they suspect of metabolic syndrome, they have uh, less muscle. So they get um, sarcopenia. So that's a shrinkage of the muscle, an increase in body fat. They get that central adiposity in humans, which would be a pot belly in humans. But what they see, and this is what sent me down this track to study uh, energy metabolism uh, using the pig model was these humans with metabolic syndrome had fat inside their muscle, what we would call marbling. So they had intramuscular triglyceride, triglyceride which is a telltale sign of prediabetes, if not type 2 diabetes, or the condition known as metabolic syndrome. 